Hi folks, and welcome back to Meaningful Money. Okay, I'm here up uh, above the village of Madron, and behind me on the horizon is uh, Mounts Bay. Not sure if you can see really very well, uh, but um, St. Michael's Mount is down there in the, in the bay. Um, beautiful day, so a good spot. A little bit windy, but hopefully the mic is sheltered by my uh, width. <laughs> I had a conversation with a client the other day, and uh, he is a client of mine because his company has their group uh, private medical insurance through my company. We arrange it for them but he has a personal advisor with another firm. So his own personal investments and stuff like that with, are done with another advisor. Not that I'm uh, bothered by that at all. Um, but he asked me, he said, he said, do you mind if I just run something past you? I was talking about his uh, group medical scheme and he said, my other advisor is suggesting that I put my investments onto his new RAP platform. And he wants to charge me 2% of the amount of the investment to do it. Do you think that's a good deal? So it occurred to me that perhaps you guys don't know what a wrap is. Um, you're going to hear a lot more about them, um, and it's important that you understand what they are. So here's a little bit of history for you, okay? Back in the olden days, when children used to play football on the street and skipping instead of happy slapping each other, you would do your investment direct with an investment house, so something like Jupiter or Invesco or Gartmore, and you may decide this year that I'm going to do my investment with Jupiter. And then in the uh, second year, you may decide, I'm going to do my investment with Seven Investment Management, who sponsored the show, by the way. <laughs> See, that was seamless, wasn't it? And the third year, you may do your investment with somebody else. And in the fourth year, somebody else. And before you know it, you've got a sort of portfolio of investments, all directly with the individual investment houses. And you're getting two statements a year from both. And it takes a lot of looking after. So the sort of logical next step, some bright spark came up with the idea of the fund supermarket. And what this meant is that you could have access to all those different fund managers um, under one roof. So you had an account with a fund supermarket. And now you did, you know, you could choose which of the fund houses to um, invest with. And you could change, swap between the two quite easily. So you could move your Jupiter money to Gartmore, or from Gartmore to 7am, whatever. Um, and that was all very well and good, and people were happy and all was well with the world. But you could still only really have an ISA, or a pet maybe, and an unwrapped, a sort of general investment account uh, on a fund supermarket. And you could only access whichever funds the supermarket had negotiated terms with. So while there may be many available, and all the major ones would be available, you were still limited. So the next step from that is the wrap platform. And what a wrap platform does is it gives you all the benefits of a fund supermarket. So you've got you know, many funds to choose from, but usually many more. I'll come back to that in a minute. But instead of just being able to get an ISA and a general account, you can now hold your SIP pension on there, perhaps an offshore bond, maybe even an onshore bond. And before you know it, you can have all your different tax wrappers sort of consolidated in one place. Okay, so that's what a wrap does. It takes, takes you from direct investment through fund supermarket, and now not only can you have whatever funds you want, you can have whatever tax wrappers you want, all held in one sort of consolidation super engine thing. So that's what a wrap is, okay? Now, there are sort of wraps and sort of nearly wraps, okay? So a true wrap will have the following um, attributes. A true wrap for me is it has to be um, what you call open architecture. And that simply means that it doesn't really matter whether the wrap company has negotiated terms with Gartmore or Jupiter or Invesco or whoever, because what you get is actually a window onto the dealing platforms of the market. So you can actually buy anything. So a true open architecture wrap will let you buy anything from any uh, any fund house, or even if it doesn't have to be a fund house, it could be gold or gilt directly, or corporate bonds directly, or individual shares of companies. It's not just funds. A true wrap will let you buy pretty much anything as long as it's traded on a market somewhere. A true wrap will also um, offer you tax wrappers by other companies other than themselves. So there is a very sort of uh, widely touted uh, wrap available by one of the major life assurance companies uh, in this country. Um, but if you want a pension on it, you have their pension. And if you want a bond on it, you have their bond. Um, and that's not open architecture. That's not a true wrap. 
Um, so what you want is to be able to have your SIP with SIP Center and your offshore bond with AXA, um, and yet all the investments be held on the wrap, 7IM wrap, say, or whichever. Um, the other main sort of uh, consideration which makes a wrap truly open architecture is unbundled charging, okay? We're getting away now from the old life assurance company model where all the charges are wrapped up, it's all very opaque, you don't really know what you're getting, but you get, sir, just one flat annual charge. Well, you, you don't usually, there's all sorts of backhanders going on. A true wrap is an open charged structure, it's entirely uh, transparent, so you are being charged for the wrap, okay? And then you are being charged for the tax wrapper, confusing isn't it, you know, the pension or whatever, and then you're being charged for the fund, and usually you're being charged for the advice as well, but all those things will be individually charged for and you'll know exactly where you are. So if your advisor talks to you about a wrap, what are the benefits? Well we've talked about consolidation, so having all your sort of bits of your portfolio in one place is pretty convenient, usually you can log in and see them all online, so there's benefits there. Very often, or sometimes, depending on the wrap, it may be that you can buy a given fund cheaper on a wrap than you can directly with the fund house. And that's because of something called fund manager rebates, okay? Whenever, you're, whenever you buy a fund, an OIC or a unit trust or something, that fund has an annual management charge, and built into that is a marketing allowance. It's basically an amount which the fund house can afford to give as a kickback to whoever is introducing the business. Now a true wrap will let your advisor rebate that rebate to you, okay? We always do that. We use 7IM's wrap, um, among others, I have to say, though we do uh, use a couple of others as well. But the 7IM wrap gives us the opportunity to rebate those fund manager sort of m marketing allowances back to the client. And so the AMC comes down, the annual management charge comes right down and you can buy that fund cheaper. So consolidation, very often cost is cheaper ease of use, log on access, all that sort of stuff, all right? So that's what a wrap is. Gives you a total picture of all your assets. The problem is still people have pensions that they had 20 years ago and you can't put those on a wrap. Or maybe they had an onshore bond that they had 25 years ago and you just can't put those on a wrap. So if your advisor says, look, we've got this shiny new wrap and I wanna put all your money onto it, they must give you very valid reasons for that, okay? And certainly not just charge you a random amount to make their life easier. So that's what a wrap is, hope that's helpful. Leave any questions under the video as ever, either on Facebook or on the YouTube channel or on the site itself, I'll do my very best to answer them. So from just up above Madryn, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.